Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Master on Tech, where today, got some more Red Dragon action. They've sent over a lovely mouse for me to give my thoughts on how I think everything does and what all this mouse can perform. This is the M916 Pro 4K variant. 4K polling rate, so that means with the wireless dongle, you will be able to get... 0.25 milliseconds on the response time. Absolutely minuscule. But we'll be able to go over that. We're going to check out the mouse. We're going to see what all it can do, what all it can perform. We're going to go over the software, how you can configure it, because you do need the software to hit that 4K polling rate, or it will be at 1K polling rate, which is still great. But again, all that will be gone over here in just a bit. So stay tuned and let's check it out. Alrighty, and there it is. The M916 Pro 4K, or known as the King 4K Pro. It's gear 8. It's, it's a super, super lightweight mouse, which you saw on the front. Uh, it does have wired, Bluetooth, and wireless. Uh, but again, one of those fancy features of the Pro is the fact that it weighs, give or take, within 2 grams 49 grams. It is absolutely lightweight. But of course, let's see what we got in the box. It all comes out nice and clean. We do have the manual. And right underneath this nice little piece of foam, that's it. There's nothing too crazy in here. We do have the lovely little wireless piece. You do need to plug this in. It does have a USB-C on it. And then plugging that in, that is the wireless line. It's not your normal USB connector, but you can use the cable that it does come with and just plug it in and boom, you're done. And of course, in the little sleeve, you do have it. The lightweight thing itself, and I mean absolutely lightweight, the, the King Pro. Honestly, I it, it feels like a prop. It feels like a demo mouse. I mean, it doesn't feel like there's it, there should be anything in this. This, this is hands down the lightest mouse I've ever held personally. And that goes from cheapy cheap mice all the way up to expensive mice. And of course there's that USB-C on the front. And you got all the different options on the bottom for Bluetooth, off, wireless. The good news is this is so lightweight. There's no RGBs, no nothing. So it will last an eternity, which I'll go over here later. We do have the USB-C to USB-A cable that it comes with, it is kind of a cloth braided material, so it's easier to not get tangled up. And of course, underneath, what is that? Of course, the Red Dragon stickers. We all know that we'll be in there. We do expect it. Now, the manual is still a roadmap, which if you guys have seen some of my previous ones, that is a ding. I don't like roadmaps that unfold, but it's not bad. It, it does have majority of the information just right there it's easy peasy and so it does have the little piece off to the side for thanking you you do have the buttons and everything that it is showing including the foot pads there's really not a lot to this mouse so you know they have to show those as well uh, to have some more of the diagram and they just basic operations whether if you're doing the bluetooth pairing or the wireless dongle and then plugging it in is pretty self-explanatory if you want to use the cable now on the back here, it's how to recharge it, which is how long it takes. We do have the DPI settings that are pre-ready pre and installed onto the mouse, which those can be changed, uh, which that'll be in the software here later. Uh, but yeah, it's a little interesting. This little, little dongle, completely different from any other mouse. Usually it's got a USB insert. The clicks on it are not too aggressive, which we'll see later. I'll pull out my sound meter. We'll be able to check those out. But it's sleek. It's got a subtle gloss to it. It's still matte. You've got the printed Red Dragon logo. It has the name right there on the left side. You've got your DPI button, which that blue light does come on if you're in Bluetooth mode. And again, it is just so light. I, I, I honestly 
I'm just impressed. There's nothing rattling in there. There's nothing there. Just like you'd expect it to something be there. But as I mentioned, we do have that sound meter test. You can see the ambience in my room. Around 40 and clicking it within just like an, an inch or two. Now it's only going up by 10 decibels. It's honestly not bad. It's pretty quiet. You know, remember this is just right next to it. And the loudest one is the middle mouse wheel. And so as long as you're not using that, which you shouldn't be using it all too often, that's about it. Now we're gonna check the weight. Remember I did say it's plus or two grams, give or take, uh, is what they advertise. And so it is about 50, so it's a little bit above that. And if you are traveling, you do have the dongle. It is gonna be a little bit more uh, at 57, but that's okay. It's really not that bad for both of those to go with you. And now we're gonna check out the software. Being in pure Red Dragon fashion, we can absolutely change just about everything. You wanna change, you at least have to have one left click as mentioning in the first one, but then you can change any button to virtually anything. You wanna be a macro, you want it to be a different button, you wanna be a keyboard button, it could be just about anything. We do have the DPIs here. And so you can just absolutely crank it up to 26,000, which if you do that, I don't know who you are. You're not human. But these are your general defaults. And again, you can change those all the way through. Then you have your polling rate. And again, it can go up to 4,000. And there's 2,000 uh, if you want to do that. But yeah, 4,000 is really where you want to go if you're going to be using this mouse just to have that lower response time. And you have the sensor settings, and then you have the DPI lighting effects, which is really only on the bottom when you change the, the modes. So it's not really uh, something you need to worry about too hard. Uh, but again, if you want to change these around, change the order, change the amounts, you can. And of course, the macros. You can start your recording for your macros. You can have it have the automatic insertion of delays. Set your default time if you want to have a certain amount of milliseconds. And then you have the different settings for cycle press, until the key presses, and so on. And if you want, you can just have insert action. So if you do the recording, which we'll do now, and type in a bunch of Fs in chat, then you get the delay as I hold it, and it continues to cycle. That's just me adding in more time. You can hit save. Now that you have your profile, you can add in. You want to press key or anything across the board if you want you can enter the key and change it boom now it's changed or added in uh do need it you know not it doesn't say edit it is in chinese but that's okay uh that'll be fixed in a future update and so you can check the firmware of your mouse you can check to see where everything's at you can have it run on the boot uh, and then, of course, the event settings down there. You can, the biggest thing, can check the charge of the mouse. And then once you've done all of this, you have profiles. And so then you can import them, you can export them, you can restore them. You have everything across the board that you can do with this mouse, with the software. It's honestly absolutely crazy the amount of things that you can do with this mouse. Again, in Red Dragon fashion, you can edit, change, do everything. The way their claims are right on par, they say 49 grams, give or take plus or minus two, which a minus two would actually be even crazier at 47. But at the same time, they do say that it can be give or take up or down. Again, manufacturing differences, different types of plastics could maybe change, you know, between batches. So there's a lot of variables there. But it's so light. I've been daily driving this mouse for... A while now it's my work mouse and it's been honestly just been great the clicks are fine it's just doing it exactly the way it should it's light it's not giving me any fatigue being able to use it all day no issues eight hours and how how nice the click is uh it's just it's real sensitive it doesn't require real heavy push uh, again does make things a little bit easier on your hands for a long period of time so if you're in a big gaming session 
or if you're at work or you're using this for whatever your purposes are, feel free to use it all the time. It will last forever. I haven't even charged it since I pulled it out of the box that you just saw me do. I've been using it since I got it for, for probably about two weeks now. And so I haven't charged it yet. So it's got an absolute monster battery life because, you know, LED strain batteries. And you don't have to worry about that. And I haven't exactly been able to get into modifying it for work due to the software and, you know, being able to install that. But on personal, it's been a dream. So if you guys want to check it out, link for it will be down in the description. Go ahead and check that. Click it. And if you want to get it, it does help support the channel and be able to make some extra fun things happen for the future. But guys, I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out. If you're here at this point, go ahead and give a smash the like button. Give me a go ahead and do the subscription part and follow me on the socials. Again, for, links for that will all be down in the description. So if you guys want to check those out, it would be greatly appreciated. But until next time, guys, I've been A-Master with Master on Tech. And I'll see you guys here on the next one.